Hey Virgo, how you doing? Virgi, Virgi, this is your girl Ruth. Y'all welcome back. The ones that have been rocking with me, thank y'all for coming back. And the ones, new people, thank y'all for coming. I hope I help in some sort of way. I've been doing the series on the deacons of each sign. And there are three deacons that mean three types of that same sign. And I uh, just finished two of the Virgos and, well, one of the Virgos, I'm sorry. And now I'm on Virgo, and you have weight of a Capricorn, okay? So, yeah, and I'll be talking about that, reading a little bit about that, and uh, then I'll do a tarot reading on it, and just a little help, okay, on that, and yeah. So, oh, and my thumbnails are for different things that's going on in the world, okay? And that's what you'll be seeing. It may pertain to this message, and it may not. Okay, so I'm, you know, don't get caught up in it. All right. If, if it's, it's for you, it's for you. You know. And uh, yeah, just like a little one, it's a little battery-operated fan. You know, I don't trust nobody. I don't know what they're gonna try, or whatever. So I advise y'all to get y'all one. A couple of them. You know what I'm saying? All right. So now we're going on the second deacon, and. Uh, let's read a little bit. The second deacon of Virgo is ruled by Saturn and is the Capricorn deacon. Uh, the initiating energy of Saturn and the Capricorn release some of the potential anal analyzed paralysis of Virgo and encourages them to take action to create structures that give them material security. They tend to be overachievers seeking to keep building and making money and are inventors more than spenders because that gives them the sense of achievement they need. They can also thrive in a tower on some projects if they feel they are failing. They are very responsible and great messenger managers, excuse me, but their drive to achieve can mean they miss out on lighter and more fun side of life. So if you are between September 2nd and September 11th, this is you. Now my brother was this. He was pretty fun. Oh, yeah, it has to do with the whole birth chart also, yeah. Okay. So yeah, let's get started. And he did work for everybody. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't put my little cords down. But anyway, let me shuffle and see what else. Ancestors, guides, uh, higher ups your high self will just give you a little heads up and make you aware of some things okay yeah so let's see one more little shuffle okay okay I split it in through, and I'm gonna do an overall past, present, and future. Okay. Let's go here and here. Okay then. Knight of Swords. You cutting somebody head off? <laughs> Cappy Aquarius. Co-abusive demands respect. Okay, Cappy. I mean, a career, a Virgo with two. Okay, where well, is this Cappy Aquarius? A lot of Cappy. So. You pissed off with somebody and you ain't playing no game so this must be just you period you know what i'm saying with that capricorn in y'all because they be on they be on something all the time they be on some some superior stuff all the time so uh, <laughs> let me finish putting everything down look at it got the leo behind the strength yeah i got the strength what about it past present future okay I gotta watch my bag now. Different energies over here. Hitting different. Oh, a lot of new people moved in. Okay. So, okay, let's see. You don't know who that is over there. You ready? If they fly this way, it's gonna be on, right? Okay. Gotcha, Virgie. You ain't in your emotions, you know. But you're a little disrespectful are you demanding respect people being disrespectful to you and you ain't got time for it we're here to do a job and we're gonna do it 
this is how the family goes, and this is how it's going to work. And I don't care what y'all talking about, but I run this. Is that the attitude you got, Bergie, with the Capricorn now? That sound like a Capricorn. <laughs> All right, let's go a little deeper, okay? Okay, Bergie, let's see. Let's see. It's uh, assertive, direct, impatient, intellectual, daring, focused, perfectionist, ambitious. No matter what comes, I'm ready. That's what you're saying. Love nature, but don't try me. Not weak. Hello. <laughs> Things may be difficult, but I'm swaying. You, you know, you're handling it. You can uh, consequences of your, you're taking consequences of your actions. Okay. Uh, you're powerful, organized, ready. A little compassionate. Responsible. Uh, ain't no stopping you now. Ain't no stopping it now. I'm on the move. I'm taking no negative vibes. Challenges come. Um, and you got this. You appear to be. You appear to be that you got it okay. But your love life may not be right. Because you're working too much, like you said. And uh, having fears around that boredom. You know, but it's it's solvable, but you just got to put the effort in it, right? Uh, and decisive about it. Lack of intimacy. Your career, getting things done, focus, making boss moves. Like I say about you already, job is perfect. Money is perfect. You're probably wealthy as ever on your way. You take actions and everything else. More money, more money. But the family and your love life, what about your kids? What about your family, your, kid, your wife, your husband? What about them? What about your family? Have you seen your mom lately? Have you seen your dad lately? Your sister and brothers? Your friends? You know, unless y'all got a family business, and that's a whole nother ball game now. Okay. So let's see what the past was about. Okay. Lovers, so y'all was doing good. Probably married to a Gemini or not. Um, love affairs, okay, wow, romance building again within marriage, building again within marriage, relationship, relatives, love and relationship, you could share with a friend, okay, that's how it was, that's how we were just talking about, that it could be, so that's how it was in the past, maybe before all the money started hitting, you was doing good, you know, yeah, I was in love, mad in love, had a little, having a little bitty buka boos. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah, but then the love affairs, what, working too much, or she started, he started having them because he was coming home too late. And not spending enough time with the person. Let's see, uh, Virgie, okay. Well, what, the classic story, okay. Bye, boy. Bye, girl. Got bored with him. Being at a crossroads. Too many choices because you got too much money. Too much time on your hand. Commitment from falling in love. Partnership was in the past. Perfect house. Perfect wife. Perfect husband. Perfect children. Perfect everything. Cars. Love. Unions. Relationships. Balance. Unity. Very blessed in your relationship. By the angels, the creators, probably got married at a big church, had a big wedding, everybody happy, secure, happy home, appears to be. Then temptation came, communication dropped, not coming home a lot, or a partner, fights, arguments, harmony, perfectionist, trust, attractiveness, confidence, strength, empower each other. Then somebody came in shaked in front of you or uh, put the flex up and that was it <laughs> classic story that's why I'm um, alone and and getting a divorce and separated so long because uh, no I going through that bull crap anymore anyway that's my story <laughs> all right now we got the now what did we learn from this Fergie <laughs> okay 
cancer. You're at home a lot. Maybe the job went down a little bit. Okay, deciding, moving of residence, journey, victory over situation or problem, balancing the opposite polarity. Now, two ways to look at it. Either she put you out or he put you out. You move, you left him, you got moved in with the secretary. Or it could be a man or a female secretary. Or the little young thing, or the old thing, or whatever. Maybe she was a gold digger, maybe you were, whatever the deal is. She wasn't pretty to you no more. You found somebody that looked just like her or him or whatever the deal. I don't know. But anyway, uh, you went different ways. Y'all, she went her way, you went her way. Tell by the speaks right there. About, it, about the two pharaohs. So y'all broke up or y'all decided to move and start a brand new life. Go on a new journey. Okay? And, you know, y'all discussed it. Me and your marriage took everybody out of it or... You know, whatever it may be, sicknesses, whatever it may be, got over that, got healed. Okay, so let's see a little more, Virgie. Okay, so whether you're with that spouse, old or new, you're, it's a Sag card, okay? I need to put that on there. I put that on there. Traveler, going all the time, things moving quickly, staying focused, career doing good, stay in control. you got other people to handle your business and got good employers and employees and uh business like i said is good you're retiring now maybe maybe with the old spice she probably finally get you all to herself or he or you have a new spouse so you're traveling the world or getting ready to travel the world together and you're settling down and just enjoying life okay that could be what that's about and we got the future ew okay so wait no deceptions or delays. Emotions not up or down. Your Pisces card. Uh, not deceiving yourself. Not being emotional. Y'all focused. Like I said, y'all doing good. Y'all traveling. Y'all made amends. Or you with another partner. You realize your mistakes from the first one. You're not doing that anymore. Not being deceptive. All that messing around and working too much and playing. Whatever it may be. You know. And you're learning to enjoy life now. That's what I think that means. Let's see y'all. Yeah, I'm correct on that. So it's like everything hidden coming to light now. The truth, you know, about the situation, about the past, the mistakes, and all that kind of great stuff. That, you know, and it also could mean, I don't have a lot of cards here, but just, you know, secrets. Maybe watch your business. If people are handling the business now, make sure you got a uh, replicable or, or trustworthy employees and a partner. And even a, a, a love partner, make sure they're not gold diggers or you or, you know, just be honest with each other and check out the health benefits of each other and nobody's keeping secrets about that. Uh, just make sure this is the one. And the moon card is about the mother. So if you haven't checked on your mom or your parents in a while, that, that would be suggested about right now. They may be sick or, you know, could be ill or something or just upset about something. Maybe they're losing their home or something. If you got enough money or something, you need to pay for that. You know, a family member or elderly person or whoever it may be, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, whatever. Or they, if they're gone already, maybe they want to talk. Maybe ancestors want to talk to you, tell you some stuff. Maybe that's what they're doing now. I don't know. You know, maybe, um, I don't know, go visit the grave or something. I don't know. But anyway, this is what I have for your Bergie, and I hope it helps. And uh, this is your girl Ruth signing off. Would you like, subscribe, share, and comment? I really appreciate it. And until next time, y'all, bye. Take care.